Let me show you another way of creating a subform. I'm going to go to the design view of the client's table I created earlier. And here is the subform we had. So I'm just going to remove that for this example. I'm going to click and then hit the delete key on the keyboard. So in this case we've just got the main form here and we go up to controls and the subform controls. Single click, move down here and just left click. And it says here what data would you like to use for your subform or sub report? And it says using exist existing tables and queries, we're going to choose that option. These items here, that's only if you've got an existing form that you want to use. But we're going to assume we haven't got an existing form. So we're going to create one based on a table. Click Next. Which fields would you like to include on the subform or sub report? First of all, we need to choose the orders table because we want to show order information down here. And we're just going to put all the fields across. Go to Next. Would you like to define which fields link your main form to the subform yourself or choose from the list below? Normally, we would choose this option here, the one already highlighted. Show TBL orders for each record in TBL clients using client ID. We made sure there was a client ID field on the orders table so we could link it to the clients table. The alternative way of doing this is click on define my own. I'm going to show you this for example. So we're going to link the client ID to the client ID over here on the orders table. That's just another way of doing it. Click next. What name would you like for your subform? I'm going to call this FRM clients example sub2. Click finish. And there you can see we have another way of adding a subform to a main form.